manufacturer. So, oh, uh, I should have really drank all this or used it, but uh, I did not. Yeah. Got to broke some lines off, so that. All right, so this is gonna be a no go. This is gonna be a no go. Please tell me why I really thought I was gonna use that 1970s gas tank. <sighs> anyway, so here's all the parts. I got the uh, parts on the printout right there. Go ahead and pause the video and check out all the parts and numbers. Now, this is the new gas tank. I think it's a Spectra or a Dorman. And what I'm doing right now is I'm taking off that center unit bracket. Now I'm drilling a four and a quarter inch hole for my PA4 pump from Tank Sink. No plug. I'm just cleaning up my hole. Now this is what I'm doing here. What I'm doing is I'm taking the pump and inverting it so I can go ahead and have my bracket. There's the bracket that the pump is going to go on top of, but that bracket is going to go inside. So I need to go ahead and drill my holes in there. And that's what I'm doing right now. Just getting everything lined up so I can drill my holes so I can get ready to weld it inside the tank. So as you can see, I've already went ahead and um, prepared the bracket for welding. And that's what I'm doing. I'm welding right now. All right, at this point here, what I'm doing is I'm just taking my measurements because the, the bracket, that long extension you see oh, well, right there, needs to be cut. I didn't show me cutting it, but I cut it. So now what I'm doing is I'm getting prepared for the sending unit. I'm doing the exact same process that I did for the, uh, uh, what's the name of that thing called? For the power steering, no, I'm sorry, for the fuel pump, I'm doing the exact same thing. So I'm putting that bracket together, getting everything squared away, and then I'm going to go ahead and just clean up where I made my hole at and then prepare to drill my holes as well. So I can put the bracket inside. So keep in mind that the brackets have to go inside and the pumps and the center units have to go on top so that it can go ahead and uh, tighten up with the sheet metal in between it. Boom, got them holes. Now I'm just welding everything up, just making sure everything's welded up, won't be any issues. Here I'm just putting a, a port 15, you know, you saw me doing port 15 on the frame and the power, on the, um, the firewall, so I'm just doing the exact same process. Here I'm getting ready to assemble the actual tank. I'm just tapping this in here for now, and then we just put the vent in here. That's that rollover vent you see to the left. Got it. Like that. So that's it's a must. Here. Again, we'll tighten it up a little bit later. This goes there, and then this right here goes in here. Like that. Let me tighten all this up. I'm thinking that this goes, we're supposed to go like this, and that's what keeps it correct. I'm really not sure. Um, the directions really don't don't necessarily say exactly how to set this up. All right, so I got a three eighths. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Take this back here. Okay. It wasn't bad. But All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just mocking up the actual pump assembly. So you got that supply line, which is to the left, and you got the return line, which I'm about to, you know, I'm going to see me putting that in a second. But what I'm doing right now, I'm just mocking up everything before I cut my actual hoses and get everything in the final assembly. All right, so it's I'm like, all right, it's cool, it's looking good. Now plug up the harness. All right, that works. Okay. That's the idea, but I put some heat on it, and uh, I'll try to get it in here. Before
Now, this is where I'm just tightening up everything for my final fitment. I've already made my cuts on the return line and the supply line, and I'm just wrapping it up like a little Christmas tree and uh, about to tighten it up. Again, this is a PA4, so I believe it's supposed to go up to 600 and maybe 50 horsepower. I'm definitely not looking to go do that, but, you know, this is what I need. Just wrapping it up, bow tying it. assembly is done so I just went back in the tank and it actually looks like it's actually eight and three quarters so I actually think that's gonna work all right and this is finally draining This is this is a very important part to me because what I have to do is I have to go ahead and lock everything in. I'm talking about just you know bolt everything in. So I'm putting down the gasket, um, and I'm, I actually have to do the f fuel sending unit first because I have to get through the the fuel pump um, hole, the larger hole, so I can go ahead and assemble the uh, fuel sending unit together first. Now, I probably say my biggest my biggest concern about this whole project was making sure that I got the the surface level. But I will say this: I don't think it's got to be that deep because remember, this is thin sheet rock. I mean, excuse me, this is thin sheet metal. So the the actual um, you know the platform that this sits on, the bracket, it's going to bring the sheet metal level. But again, the verdict is out. We'll see. So that's just me assembling the uh, fuel assembly unit, sender unit, and then the fuel pump. And yes, after all that, after all those lines, I put it in wrong. It's supposed to go the opposite way. See the lines going to the to the snout. All right, starting off with the drill again. Got it on one. <laughs> So even though the tank is dirty, this is the complete install of the PA4 and the sending unit. Now here what I'm doing is I'm just actually laying out the exact parts. Those, 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 those pencils are the actual, are the lines, uh, the fuel lines. So I got all the parts, the exact same parts from left to right. One is a, uh, um, a uh, supply, one is a return. And you're going to see here in just a minute where right there for that fuel regulator, fuel filter, that's the return um, and the supply. And it just circulates. And then I got one line going up to the fuel rail. That's that's the one line right there I'm showing you. Boom. Fuel rail. And I use that cool tools. Now here, I actually went ahead and turned my uh, my supply line and return line the correct way, and it came out fine. But that's the national pipe thread adapter into the AN6 going to the female. And here, I'm about to show you how I'm actually assembling my fuel filter slash fuel regulator. And as you can see, the blues are the inlet and the outlet. And that black, where I'm about to go ahead and assemble my female, is going to be that one line that's going to my fuel rail. So I'm just putting everything together. Those are the females where I can insert my stainless steel braided lines.
All right, so we're ready to install the lines here. So we do have the uh, the braided, braided stainless steel for the brake lines. Well, excuse me, for the fuel lines. We also will be doing it for the brake lines. But um, we got the AN6 here, and we got the cool twos. So this is uh, part number, I don't know what the part number is, but this is how you spell it. And uh, what it is is it comes in this little kit where you get this here, and then you get some shims. Here's some more shims. But I'm about to show you how I went ahead and installed my very first one right now. All right, we installed my last hose. Um, I've already did the other hoses for practice. Um, before I did the video, so I can make sure I'm showing you all the correct thing. So let me first start off by saying how I got this very clean cut. I just went ahead and wrapped up some masking tape. And I used a cutting wheel. That's it. Now, after I cut the sides and planned everything out, now I'm ready to install my more than likely two short hose because I just I had way too much hose. Anyway, so we're using this AN6 fit in here. The very first thing I'm going to do is, you know, this is the way it comes, but I'm going to go ahead and take it off because what I actually need right now for the install, I'm going to put this in my pocket. But the only thing I need right now is this right here. So I'm going to take this Cool Tools, size 6. Okay, all right. I'm going to go ahead and just put that down so i got two hands I'm working with. I'm going to open it up. And you see there's a, a deeper side and a more shallow side. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here. And I'm going to put this, which is the, the side with the, the larger end. I'm gonna, that's where the actual hose is going to go in. I'm going to put that in here. Okay. Now, here's the thing. See that? It's supposed to be tight, completely tight, like not moving tight. So I'm going to take one of the shims that came in the kit, place it in there. I'm going to take the other side. You see, you got these little notches here, so it's going to tell you which way it goes. I'm going to put it in there. Now, I was um, using uh, like a little uh, like a shirt or something to keep this you know, from getting broken or anything, but <clears throat> it slips out too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it up because we don't want it to move. All right. Then we're going to take our hose. Let me be straight out with you. I mean, you can see it ain't the cleanest, but what we're going to do is we're going to try to get it as straight as possible. All right, let's get this Anyway, I'm going to slide it in there and start twisting like this until the bottom's out. When I say bottom out, it's really when you're going to get the most resistance. So, let's get to it. Mm, 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 mm. I really just want to slip. focusing on and what we're trying to check out is we want to make sure that the hose is flush with the thread so if it's not then it's not seated correctly so let's see if we can look in there we can look at the angle let's see what y'all think see that lip showing me that it's flush so i'm gonna put some oil on this i'm gonna act like i'm putting some oil then i'm just gonna install no no, no let me show y'all let me, let me actually put some oil on hold on here's the oil take it on here just like that i'm gonna put it in here and be sure before you hook all these up to clean out your lines. Um, I'm going to blow them out, rinse some solvent through it, but I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to put it on in the vise, make sure it's nice and flat. And, come on. Let's see. Is this in there? It's in there good. All right. For whatever reason, I don't know what size it's supposed to be, but for whatever reason, 18 millimeter is working for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it. My bad. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to go ahead and sure that it's seen there nice and tight. Just like that. Is that moving? Maybe it's not. Uh, and now, you, or let me say me, just install this AN6 fitting. Let's check it out. Looks good to me. At least what I know. And that's it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, do this other side. Right here. But before I can do that, I need to actually figure out what, um, I need to figure out how to take off the disconnect. Well, how to take off, anyway, that's another video. Alright, taking this here. That connects in there. And then this here, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the other side of my hose. And then we're going to see if it fits. It might fit, it might not. What I'm doing here is I'm just putting this access panel in for the actual fuel pump. Again, the PA4 tank sink fuel pump. And uh, it was a great move, but you can see it was everything was already pretty much lined up the way everything is already set up with that hump. Now there, what I'm doing is I'm putting the straps in uh, with all new hardware. And I'm just pushing everything up, putting the straps on. 
locking it in place. All right. Got our sending unit. We got our stainless braided steel. AN6, female, national pipe thread to here. Rollover vent, everything's locked in. Feeling good. Now let me show you what I secured the lines with. That's it, and these here. These are the larger ones. Let's go into the car and see what we got. Alrighty, so that's the pump I showed you. Uh, right here, you want you see I went ahead and did the port 15. And let me see if I can show you the lines. There you go. There you go. And there you go. So that's the lines. Let me show you how I routed this. I'll try to see if I can. Alright, so you can't really see it, but I came up under this lip and came up behind the transmission. So came up behind the transmission. Came with that fitting that I showed y'all was gonna lock that in. Here, locked it in, screwed it in. That's it. On another note, if y'all can answer this question, what is this for? What what, what is this? I just got it sitting right here for now, but I don't know what it is.